Today, we're gonna to be building this. It's called the Penrose Triangle. It's an optical illusion, and uh, we're gonna have fun building it. So let's get it. This video is brought to you by Duluth Trading Company. You know, Duluth has been partnered with us for a couple years now. They're providing quality work gear for the people who actually work hard. So, ah, oh man, my favorite product has got to be the flannels. They're just top notch. You know, you could wear them throughout the summer, the spring, and the fall, and the winter. You can wear them year round. They don't get out of style. If you haven't already, check them out. Um, they're awesome. What we're doing is we're starting off with a, a 40 inch piece and we have four pieces to cut out of this. We're gonna cut two 12 inch pieces with different angles, an eight inch piece, and then the remainder will be our last piece. So the length really isn't that important. The important thing is the angles that we're gonna be cutting. And once you're done constructing it, the angle of your camera so that's what's gonna give the effect of the optical illusion. Now that we got all four pieces cut, we actually have to modify one. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna draw guidelines down two sides. We're gonna take an angle grinder with a cutting wheel, cut those lines, and it's gonna give us half of this. So it's gonna look like an L. So we're gonna weld this up now. Basically, what's vital in this formulation here is that we use right angles, 90 degrees. So every joint that we weld up is gonna be 90 degrees, and it's crucial to the success of this optical illusion. We have this tacked up, we're actually just gonna flip it up 90 degrees and we're gonna put this next piece on. So by now, you should have something that looks like this. And now we're ready to put on the last piece, which is the modified tubing. And that's this guy right here. We're gonna weld this joint right here. We need to take a welder. We gotta weld this joint here, then we're gonna grind it all down and make it look like this joint isn't actually here. You need to figure out where you want your camera angle and once you establish that, you're gonna have to make cuts here and back here as well. You see that all of these joints here are mitered, okay? We're gonna miter this one as well. We're gonna take a line from this corner down to this corner. As you can see, I have my line made. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that with the angle grinder. And then once that's complete, we're almost done. And just like that, with a few shop tools and a little know-how, you too can create the Penrose Triangle, a famous optical illusion.